everybody and welcome. I'm Kim Marsh. And I'm Matt Allwright. It's a pleasure to have you here. You have questions and we have answers to unlock your way out of lockdown. Yes, maybe you found it easy, a socially distant walk in the park. Or perhaps, like many of us, you've been struggling with money matters or work worries. And we know from the messages you've sent to us, a lot of you have been. However you feel, we have assembled the ultimate team, our helpful Hall of Fame, to turn all your troubles into triumphs. Oh, I do love this little lot. Gloria Hunniford, Angela Rippon, Nicky Fox, Ashley John Baptiste, and the financial godfather himself, Alvin Hall, over in New York. Imagine that, New York. Yeah. You were ahead of the curve yesterday, by the way. Kim. Always am, always am. Well, you were in the Trafford Centre, ahead of it opening, and of mm. course, then today in the news, we've, we've seen all the pictures of the queues. Your uh, take on it, how did, how did the shops handle it? How did people handle it? I think it was a bit of a mixed bag, wasn't it? I think depending on what shop you were in, I guess. There was a lot of people queuing and then there were some people that said it was a lot calmer. So. Some people saying they actually enjoyed the experience more, that people were more respectful. Mm. So that's something to like, something yeah. to work on. Yeah. How, how, how did you find it? Let us know. Let us know what your shopping experience was like because they may be daunting right now, but there is still something nice about being able to take the things you've bought away, knowing that they're in one piece, because you can't always say that with deliveries right now. How many complaints about stuff that's damaged or gone missing? Uh, a, a flipping loads. A virtual <laughs> sack full. It's bulging. Not just because they're getting it wrong, but because you're struggling to get heard when it does. But fear not, because coming, coming up, up on, on the, the show, show, we've got someone whose job is getting your complaint to resonate. Yes, when it seems like no one else is listening. The Countess of Complaining, Alex Neal, gets results. And she's the apprentice queen of mean, but now she's on your team. The Hemingway of the resume, Linda Plant will be here to help you with your CV if work is looking shaky right now. It's actually very nice. Yeah, she yes, and she's going to help you, lots of you, with some top draw advice. And we'll show you how to cope if, like the man we're going to meet, you are scammed out of your life savings. Matt, when was the last time that you actually handled physical cash? Uh, when I've got a big jar on top of my desk full of pennies, I knocked that off and I had to put <laughs> them all back in the jar. Apart from that, not for absolutely ages. <laughs> I suppose when you go to a corner shop and they've got like a £10 limit and then you have to go and get some, some cash just to pay slightly less than £10. Otherwise, for me, not for everybody, contactless is definitely the way to go. Yeah, well, you say that, but here's a stat, Matt. One in five of us relies on real money and, for whatever reason, can't or won't use cards. So, what are you meant to do? Literally launder your money? Well, actually, you can wash your coins and waterproof notes in soapy water, but don't use washing powder or bleach. And a top tip, Matt, I use hand sanitizer on my bank card. Like gel? You put gel on your... Mm-hmm. With a good old wash. OK. <laughs> Well, I don't, but I will be trying it straight <laughs> after the show, Kim. Now, we would love to hear from you with your comments and questions. You can contact us about anything at all that is worrying you and we will do our best. For example, tomorrow we are talking about bills and taking a holiday from paying them. And on Thursday, all things to do with your work. These conversations simply can't start without your questions, so call us on 0208 738 222. You can email us at yourmoneyandyourlife at bbc.co.uk. Follow us on Facebook, BBC Your Money and Your Life, and we're on Twitter at BBC Money Life. Yes, we are here for you, so please get in touch. Now, whenever I'm at a loss and I need to get to the truth, I turn to my guardian angel, or should I say my guardian Angela. Angela Rippon is here and relax. <laughs> She's here to answer your lingering questions about the road out of lockdown and to try to put your mind at rest. 